Hello guys, how y'all doing? Welcome back to Redneck Ways. Another great little video for you all. Today is February, let's see, February the 24th, 2023. It's a Friday. It is Friday. Finally Friday. I just briefly want to go over what I've uh, been doing from the last video last video I was trying to show uh, uh, sort of showed you guys what I was up to on this now I did find out some information um, those uh, Russian um, transistors they were germanium um, NPNs so um, I didn't need that and then um, the silicon the silicon um, transistor that I thought that I needed it also was wrong it was um, it was all it was a silicon um, NPN and I needed a silicon PNP so none of it was right I didn't have none of the transistors that I needed right now so I ordered a whole bag of transistors that right now I don't need <laughs> I'm sure I'll, another little project I will so um, I've got some transistors ordered, but um, I really wanted these old looking ones. They really look cool. I just like it. I mean, it, those look so much better than a new black transistor. It's just not going to look right. Because if you, in my eyes, I, the way I like it, I think it looks pretty cool with the old ones and have you a little circuit going. But I don't know. I'll probably still build it, but it's not going to be the same to me. Now I did get uh, my little uh, crystal, uh, my amp for my crystal set fixed. Um, uh, it's still not loud um, loud enough to hear on a little speaker, but it boosts that crystal set up quite a bit. So then I knew that when I built it. So that was all. I got all that done, and I'm happy with that. So there's that. So today, guys, what I want to talk about and show you all is, oh, the Atari 2600. This one is an actual Atari 2600. Now, when I was about 10 or 11, um, I mean, this was the this was it when these came out. Oh my goodness! Now, I remember being over at my cousin's house. We's kind of, we's almost the same age. There's one year differences in us. I think he was uh, ten and I was eleven. And I remember it was right before Christmas, and he was really excited. And he was talking about this this new thing, Atari. And I was like, what in the world? You know, I didn't know. I had seen no commercials or nothing. I didn't know what but he was. Just couldn't wait. So, you know, there it is. That, I mean, we had our Atari. And we had our bicycle. And I'll tell you what, we were happy. There was no better times than them times, in my opinion. Which, you know, um, this was the... Um, predecessor to the the Nintendo which I think the Nintendo actually made a couple games I believe Donkey Kong was a Nintendo game we'll look at that here in a minute when we look at my games because I do have Donkey Kong we'll look and see if it I think it does say Nintendo but um, you know then the Sega and then Super Nintendo and then the PlayStation but this right here was my my beginning I think there was a Commodore but this wasn't this. My uncle gave this to um, the to me and my brother um, probably about 25 years ago. So this wasn't our original one. That's not the one that me and my brother played. Um, oh gosh! This one is one me. And my, this was me and my brothers. The. The stickers came off the Pac-Man game. But this one is a... Uh, this is a video arcade. So, 
let's put it side by side they look just alike now the difference is this one here it has a, a different wood grain than the tarry it's got like a darker wood grain and then the tarry has a lighter almost like a maple and um what it was was sears now, and this guy's this will get me started because i do not know why sears went under they were the ones who made mail ordering so how in the world amazon i i, I ain't going to go on no i want to talk about it. anyway this was made for sears it's a video arcade but on the back of both of them they was both made in taiwan it was, it was uh, manufactured for Atari. And this one here it says manufactured for Atari by Atari. This one uh, don't say by Atari, but they're both they are both made in Taiwan. So yeah, there's that tag on that one, and the tag on that one. But they are, they're the same. They play the same. They got the same buttons and everything. This is one of my favorite games. Fighter, uh, Spider Fighter. It's been played a lot. The sticker's a little rough. These are original games to uh, me and my brother. This was ours when we was youngins. Um, on the power cord, I don't know if they both say Atari. I don't think they do. Yeah, they do. I thought I thought one of them didn't say Atari, but this one says Atari, and this one says Atari. So they're the same on that. Probably same plug. So um, let me set the TV up. I got to set this TV. Well, first we'll go to the game. Here's the contr the the controller. Um. A very primitive controller. If you are a young kid and never play Atari, there's uh, the movement is stiff. Now <clears throat> we was uh, tickled with death. I think we bought this at Hills. It's either Hills or Hex. But this was uh, just you know awesome when we got it. I mean, it is called. Start with that fast movement. Quick shot. And um, what made it good, what made this really good, or nice, um, this button here. Like the game that I just showed you, the uh, Spider Fighter, you could just uh, push that over and it would hold that, that button, that red, the shooting button down. And, you know, you just had to move back and forth and shoot them. That was really cool. Because with this controller here, you had to really give it heck. So that cord stuck behind this TV. Okay. Um, here's some of the games. Now this shelf that this is on... Um, I picked that up, I was probably about 18, and the neighbor next door was throwing it away, and I've had it all these years, and just here recently, I put my Atari and that black and white TV on it, and I believe this thing was actually made for the Atari, and why I say that is, the cartridges fit perfect, um, it's got a peg on this side, and it's supposed to have a peg on this side, but um, I'm figuring... They put that on there for the controllers to just hang on like that. And then the Tari will go in the very bottom. So. But uh, the games that we have is we have Video Pinball. Show you the artwork on it. Video Pinball.
another Pac-Man game. This may have been our original. One of them is. Combat. We all had combat. And the, um, the tank and the airplanes and all that. That's a fun game. It's uh, a lot more fun with two players. This is one of my favorite games. Sequest. I love Sequest. That's another um, shooting. Miss Pac-Man. This is what, one of my favorite games. I like the, Miss Pac-Man better than Pac-Man. I think the graphics are better. And you get the, get the cherry and the bananas and all that. Um, I never owned Junior Pac-Man though. I wish uh, I'm still wanting to get that. Here's Frogger. This was... Uh-oh. That's one good thing about the cartridges, guys. They're pretty much... Un I mean, you just can't tear them up. But yes, this was made by Parker Brothers. I don't know what that's... Oh, it's a sticker of some sort. Phony. There it is. Parker Brothers game. Frogger. I never liked this game all that well. Warlords. Now, my cousin on my mom's side, he had Joust. And he was about two years older than me. And he was still not him and his brother. He would bring it. And I never had that game. Um, we used to buy all of our games down at Hills. I think we bought some at Hex. But I never saw Joust for sale. It must have been one of them games that just sold out really quick. And this is Centipede. This is one of the actual Atari games. This is the actual Atari game in the, the Miss Pac-Man. Which I don't know how that went about. And we had E.T. Now, believe it or not, that's supposed to be um, one of the worst games that Atari came out with. And supposedly it's what made Atari go out of business. And they're supposedly... Um, tons of them in a landfill somewhere as the story is told but um, we had we had a copy of E.T. and I remember it was hard it wasn't I couldn't figure out what to do this is um, Tail Games Hangman which it's just a, a collection filler for me I never liked it that much This is pretty fun. Barnstorming. Um, you fly airplane in, in and out barns and try not to crash. Pretty interesting little game. Um, these games here were um, kind of at the end of Tori's life. These were on sale for like 99 cents. I think some of them was like a quarter. I, I think I gave 50 cents for this. It was like 89 90 Defender. I love Defender. This is an odd cartridge, but it plays in the Atari. Um, Astro Blast. Weird cartridge. Um, this Space Cabin. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. I don't have my glass. Carbon. C A C Carbon. Space Carbon. Um not a very fun game. Which well that's just my opinion. I don't like it. Now here's that Donkey Kong game I was talking about. Yeah, by Nintendo. And the mouse trap game is made by that same company, but I don't think it is made by the Nintendo. And I can't re really remember what this game is about, to tell you the truth. Volleyball. Not driver. My paddles don't work no more. Anymore. They're, um... 
when I try to play um, Super Breakout, it's just real glitchy. Asteroids, this is another one of my favorite games. Here's another one of my favorite games, Pitfall. Me and my cousins, we play that forever and ever. And then go out and ride our box and come back in and play it forever and ever again. Um, baseball, which um, I, I just here recently um, played, learned how to play this, and it's actually really fun. Here's Super Breakout. My mom and dad loved this game. They would, uh, when we would, would go to bed, because that'd be about the only time they could get a hold of the Atari back then. They would set and play this all evening. You gotta remember, back then, kids went to bed about 9 o'clock. Missile Command. I love this game too. Another one of my favorites. This is another one of them filler games just to the collection. I think there's a couple good games on it. And then Space Invaders. I believe this came with uh, the Tari. I think a, a couple games came with the Tari. I think uh, Space Invaders was one of them. And that combat game. They would actually put it in like Mario came with Nintendo. Alright guys, um, I've got to fiddle with this TV and um, hook everything, hook one of these Ataris up and everything. It'll take me a couple minutes. Um, this is the, if you watch my channel very long, you, this is the TV that I worked on a couple months ago. So hopefully it'll still work. So we'll have to see, but I'll be back. Okay guys, I want to show you something real quick while I was hooking this up. They, back in the day, they wasn't kidding when it came to giving you enough cord on something. I want y'all look at this. Get you set up here. Look how long this cord is. I mean, it's never ending. It's about I'd say 20 foot long. I just want to show that. I mean, that's crazy. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm sorry. I don't, but the flickering. I don't see that from his um, doing, acting crazy on the camera. All right, guys, let's see. This one, it's got a little bit of uh, fuzziness on this old thing. I had like a, uh, if you've seen my old video on working on this little TV, I have problems with it. But this is Pac-Man, of course. Let's see, let's play us. See, if, make sure it don't got, it's probably got a little static in the, yeah. I can't get the static all the way out of it. What's right there? Let's play it around. Now, my mom and dad, they would not let me and my brother play Atari on their their RCA collar portable TV. That was a no-no. I mean, if we got caught doing that, we was in big trouble. Big trouble. That's, that's box taken away for probably two weeks. Oh, I got it. Oh gosh. It's, like I said, guys, this controller, it's not the easiest thing. All right. Let's try another game. That's Pac-Man. Let's do Miss Pac-Man. I put this pack
this is Miss Pac-Man, guys. I wish the TV was working better. But it, it don't get played very much at all. I should have probably used my Ozena color TV. But this is what how, I, I wanted to show you guys how we play it when we was kids. This is what we had. A little black and white TV. We didn't care. We was having a blast. Not worried about nothing. Show you all my favorite game. This is one of them, and Sequest. Show you my favorite game, and then I'll show you uh, my second favorite game. Uh oh. Sometimes you gotta blow in and get the dust off of it. Oh, I wish that would come in better. This is a weird TV anyway. It's got a dial tuner. I wish it was one of the channel selectors. This is called Sequest. And what you do, you, you're, you shoot the fish. If you haven't played this before, and you set, try to save divers. And when you get, I think it's nine divers in your um, submarine, you take them up top and you get points. And you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. I think the adapt the adapter for the Atari too needs. I need a new adapter that hooks to the cable. That could definitely help because this one's pretty old. And it's about 40 years old. This is probably surprising it's even working at all. It, when you do that, you gotta go back up and get air. And I dropped all my men off. Somebody's honking outside. I got my window open. It's such a nice day here in Kentucky. I think it's about 50. Now yesterday, it was crazy weather. It was February, uh, end of February, it was almost 80 degrees here in Kentucky. Crazy weather, guys. Alright. Yeah, that's one of my favorite games. Here's one of the other ones. That's a little better. Not much. But yeah, this has got pretty rapid fire. You just try to kill all the spiders. And you change by color. Like the next board will be green. And after that, be yellow. Of course, we didn't know that. Cause I think... Um, I got figured that out when I got married and I played on a color TV. Alright guys, I don't want to bore you all too much. That's my Atari and a little bit of my history of my childhood. So guys, I hope you all have a great weekend and stay safe. And I'll see you next time here on Redneck Ways. Thank you guys for watching.